All right guys, it's Thursday. Today you guys know by now that today we work on our core a lot and a lot of spinal movements to keep ourselves healthy and also explore different kind of ranges of motion. We don't want to always do everything linear because then we lose the capacity to go in other directions. We want to have as much movement mapping as possible. So that's why on, on these Thursdays, I'm programming in a lot of core work, a lot of rotational work to get you guys moving more and having more capacity. So the wad is gonna be just a basic 10 rounds. We're gonna do three Turkish get-ups. Uh, using a dumbbell, we're going from the ground all the way overhead and then back down. The Turkish get-up is a great tool to build shoulder strength and also to work on our midline because we're gonna be challenged by rotating our body in different awkward positions to be able to stand up with that weight overhead. Then the 10 cal row, this is just get on the rower. I want you to keep the pace up so you can go hard on this. But the Turkish get-ups are gonna be a little bit slower just by the nature of the movement. Really focus on the stability of the movement each round. Um, keep that dumbbell in one hand for the first round, then switch it for the next round. If you can do three in a row, that's ideal what we want for this workout today. When we're done, we're gonna finish off that core with some V-sits. It's an excellent movement to build that core for gymnastics movements, so like L-sits, toes to bar, even kipping movements. We do want a nice strong core, so it's an excellent movement to be really good at. If we need to scale or just go with the jackknives. But how this works is Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we're doing eight rounds of that. So move for those 20 seconds, then you got a 10 second break. We do four or eight rounds of that. Your lowest number of reps is your score for the Tabata today, so keep that in mind. Um, after the core, we're gonna finish off, cool down with the mobility work. We're gonna do some accessory nerve tensioning, gliding. So we're gonna really feel that um, where the nerve is in our shoulders. So you're gonna, uh, the accessory nerve runs into our trap there. And usually sometimes when we get really tight or our neck feels tight, we're kind of overusing that uh, accessory nerve or we might be putting too much tension on it. So this is gonna give you a way to um, feel some awareness of where that is and do a little bit of nerve tensioning to kind of loosen things up. This may be something that you can use throughout your day, especially if you're on the desk a lot. Uh, if you have a desk job, you're probably in a poor posture. This could be something you do every 30 to 45 minutes to help you kind of reset and make sure you're in the right posture without straining the, that neck a lot. So lots of good stuff today. Make sure you guys read it ahead of time. Get your, uh, yourself mentally prepared before you start today's uh, workout. Have a good one. We'll see you guys.